Even with those looming central bank decisions and risks from a number of international hotspots, the stock markets are near record highs, fostering what some are calling a Fortress USA mentality. Steve Leisman explains. Call it a Fortress USA mentality. The stock market hovering at lofty levels, while the news abroad ranges from economically dismal to militarily gruesome. ISIS on the march in the Middle East and Russian forces in Ukraine. Two international stories in the heart of the world's oil production. Europe, the world's biggest economy, teeters on the verge of recession, and the Federal Reserve in the U.S. comes ever closer to hiking interest rates. Do you remember another time where there were more issues going around around the world all at the same time, any one of which could overnight turn into a major disaster? Uh, you want to talk about ISIS, you want to talk about Gaza, you want to talk about the Ukraine. And still, stocks march higher. So how realistic is this Fortress USA mentality? One of the biggest surprises has been the fall in the price of oil. West Texas has declined from $106 a barrel in mid-June to around $93 today. That could be because the U.S. gets less of its oil from hotspots. Imports from Canada and Mexico in U.S. oil production now equal nearly 70 percent of U.S. consumption, up from below 50 percent in 2000. More stable oil sources mean less volatility from the horrific foreign headlines in oil-rich countries. And as Europe's economy has sputtered, U.S. growth has strengthened, with 4.2 percent growth in the second quarter and third quarter growth seen in an above trend 3 percent. Markets seem pretty certain that an aggressive European Central Bank is about to spring into action to save the continent from recession and deflation, and that U.S. economic momentum can last. With the evidence of the U.S. economy strengthening more and more, uh, we're going to be creeping towards a, a position here where the Fed might get even uh, less, uh, less dovish than it's been recently, which, which could cause bond yields to rise earlier. And, and that, that, if it happened, would be a challenge for markets as well. So. As much as it's good to see the economic story improving in the U.S. and doing OK elsewhere, I, I, I don't feel my normal, usual bullish self about markets at the moment. And still the market march is higher, despite full knowledge that the Fed is set to reverse course in less than a year and some risk it happens sooner. And the doomsayers could yet be proven right. Fortress USA could turn out to be a castle built in the sand, but so far it's withstood serious challenges from the rest of the world. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Leisman.